So I'm recording now. Um, this interview is going to be very important. Probably the most inter- important interview I've ever done. This interview de- definitively proves four things to anybody with any brains. One, that psychiatry is a fraud. Two, that government harassment or cause stalking, group stalking, organized stalking is real. Three, that I am the top martial artist. And also it proves, for those of you who have been paying attention, that you do not have free speech in America. You cannot tell the truth in America. There is a secret society conspiracy, and they wish to silence us all. They are trying hard to cover that up, and they are covertly drugging me. Now, I've just played for this person. I sent them a link um, of a video about San Antonio, Texas, Dr. John Hall, okay? And she's from Texas as well. And she, you, you'll recognize her from another interview, and she, she basically agreed with me about a lot of things. And I I tried to warn her. I said, look, this stuff might start happening to you. I started hesitating about moving to Texas because I was afraid of what might happen to her and her friends and her network, etc. And so what you are about to hear is that it started to happen to her already. The police started harassing her and, and not treating her fairly. They broke into her house and denied it, even though her neighbors know that it happened. They saw it, and they're the ones who told her about it. But they are still trying to play her out as crazy and harass her. So welcome to the interview. Um, how are you doing? Hi, hi. Hello, everyone. So can you um, kind of tell us what's been going on with you? Yes. First of all, I'm just going to go ahead and say, and listen carefully, I am not the one who wants to hear anything about gang stalking or anything at all because I'm so busy in my life with my kids. It's just something that I always tell uh, him, you know, I don't know if you guys know his name or not, but I always tell him to leave it behind and let go forward. But now I understand why he can't just leave it behind. Um, yes, I'm not going to lie. There's been times where I even thought to myself, is he okay? You know, like, oh my God, I'm like so pissed off right now because yesterday I got home. my house. 
house here, the 20 Chiefs houses across the street. Well, what properties are you looking at? You looking over here at my house, and she sped off. Now, since this happened yesterday, and this happened today, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys, two weeks ago, now I've been talking to, do, do they know your name? Uh, just, just, just call me Hair Real. Okay, Ariel? Uh, Hair Real, like Horace. <laughs>
because when you have witnesses, you have to go to those witnesses before they get to the witnesses. Before they can intimidate the witnesses, go to those witnesses. Make sure, get, get them on record. Tell them, hey, I, can I record this for my court case? And, and as soon as they say yes, they can't take it back later. Get them on record agreeing to be recorded. Record it. Then you can take their punk fucking piggy fucking ass right to court. <laughs> yeah, you know what I think I'm going to do tonight? I'm going to go talk to the police chief myself, okay? I'm not going to let him know that I'm recording him or anything, you know? No, 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 no. But I want... You have to, you have to, you know, in order for you to use it, you have to, you know, I mean, you can use that for YouTube, but if you're going to use something in court, you have to get them on record agreeing to be recorded. Get all the families who saw okay. what happened, you know, get them to agree, because they said that they didn't send the dispatch out. When, when the judge told you, was it in a courtroom or something? Was it somewhere where it was being... It was in a courtroom on Lockwood, Precinct 6, so they're... right there at the corner of Navigation, and I hope these assholes hear me, because I'm pissed off about my door. Is there a transcript? On Navigation... I'm sorry, babe. Is there, is there a transcript? Somebody was writing, you know, was, was somebody writing down what was being said? You mean like on the mush, like, a, I don't know. This is like a, a small a JP court. This is this is what they call a JP court. It's on a navigation in Lockwood, Precinct 6. So I'm, I'm worried they're, they're going to deny that they ever said that. They'll say, we never told her that. They, they do this shit like that. Oh, I asked for a police report for where I went last night. Oh, um, because uh, when I gave the um, the uh, constable, they made me wait in my truck. When I gave him my identification, he, he had it for like 10 minutes flashing the light on it, you know, just acting real stupid, like he couldn't read or something, like he needed glasses, but he had glasses on. So I'm like, well, can I get a incident report, you know, for me being here? Yes, yes. You know, and he's like, and the only, he, he said, no, I can't do that. He said, just come back to court in the morning and you talk to the judge. Now, the police say, Thank you. 
they will kill you. Yes, um, that brings up, you know, remember the tamper-proof technology? I, I think I just made a video, or I have yet to post a video, about tamper-proof technology, the, the safety button on Snapple, for instance. What does that imply to you other than preserving the drink? Thank you. 
bunch of criminals behind the government, a bunch of criminals that run big corporations, they control major institutions, they control the military, they control the intelligence community, they control a lot of the universities, especially the Ivy League, and they are declaring war on innocent people, and at the top of their list are any, is anyone who speaks out against them. She just spoke out against them in one or two videos. I have over 4,000 videos with over 10,000 valid sources. These people are criminal scum. They are eugenicist filth. They are satanic garbage. And this calls for extreme measures. And then they're going to pretend, oh, if you're an extremist, you know, there must be something wrong with you. When, when speaking out against them is a form of extremism. Because you know the consequence. Whenever you stand up for what you believe to the point where you're you're making yourself susceptible to serious consequences, that is an act of extremism. And part of what these people are waging a war against is all forms of extremism, including political dissent. Now, I'm not saying that you should be a terrorist, but I'm saying that they're trying to put people like me in the category of a terrorist, you know, and, and, and use all the institutions and all the activities they have designated for terrorists, you know, on me and on women who have children. Mm -hmm. I, I wish I would have recorded this lady. I, I'm just beating myself up about it right now because something was telling me, you know, get this on tape, but I was so pissed off that I just had to go up to her and say something. And as soon as I did that, she sped off. How do you feel about the fact that she's a black woman? helping them do this to you. That's it. That really pissed me off because she looked like a successful, you know, clean black lady. She got makeup done nice and she just sitting here spying on my house. And, and why are you doing this when I'm not here? Like, I, I don't have a criminal history, guys. I'm, I'm a Harris County Bell Bondsman. You understand that? I get people out of jail, not go to jail, you know? So why are these people following me? Like, what's going on? up because we're already at like 22 minutes i'm sweating bolts on the side of the road or oh, i told you about how i had to drive down the road more because my the spot i usually yeah. upload load videos at you know and i go where my phone has service there was a guy i've never seen before with his little puppy dog and he, he, he would you know he was showing his ass his his jeans were like down to his hips you could see his butt crack he was bending over as i drove up i had to drive down the road more i'm in a spot where police might bug me at you know they're a little bit more likely than the other spot to bug me at so i'm gonna have to end this here but i want i want to ask you one last question how do you feel about the fact that i'm the top martial arts in america and that they are covertly drugging me to keep the truth from getting out you want to know how i feel about it yep i feel like i want to fuck these people up because like you're ruining someone's life not even someone this is a good guy you guys are trying to run him crazy you guys are trying to get him to go to the mental institution. You guys are trying to get him to go to jail. You're trying to provoke him. And now you're trying to provoke me. And I'm going to let you know something if you're out there listening. You keep fucking with me, you're fucking with the wrong one. So don't fucking play with me. I have five children, okay? Five. If you fuck with me, you mess with my kids, just do it and see what happens. All right, all right, don't well come in my house no more. I'm really pissed off right now. Okay, baby, I, I don't want you to get in trouble, so we're going to end it there. Um, thank you.